Sometimes you want to put a small amount of yarn on a bobbin and the bobbins for the electric EO wheel six are fairly large. They hold around eight ounces of yarn. And I decided to try 3D printing what I'm calling a sectional bobbin. And the idea is that you can put three of these onto a single electric EO wheel six bobbin and then spin small amounts of single or plied yarn of different types onto one bobbin and you could even take it off of the uh, electric eel wheel six bobbin after you've spun it if you wanted to. So let me just show you how these work. These two are already assembled and I'll just show you how this one gets assembled. It's the same as the standard electric eel wheel six. You just screw the parts together like this. And now we've got three of these assembled. And there's also these three little plugs and those are to prevent these bobbins, these sectional bobbins from spinning on the main bobbin. And I'll show you how that works in just a bit. So we're just going to assemble an electric EO wheel six bobbin, or at least partially assemble it. So now we've got it partially assembled and you can put the sectional bobbins on like this and they just stack on there like this and then you put the top piece on I'm just twisting the main electric eel wheel six bobbin together and uh, we're done but there is still a problem the problem is that these sectional bobbins will spin on the main electric eel wheel six bobbin and the way to fix that is you find the uh, portion of a sectional bobbin that has like this little extra groove like this one does. And that's designed to fit these plugs. So this blue electric EO wheel six bobbin is right here and it's lined up with that. And then you just uh, put the plug in place like this. And it just kind of snaps into place like that. And then once you do that, this one will no longer move. These two will still move. And you've got to do basically the same thing for each of those. Then I just take the plug and I put it in there like this. And then once that plugs in place, all three of them won't move. So now all of the sections are locked in place, but if you kind of pull up and rotate, sometimes it's possible to get the sections to move. So to prevent that, I recommend putting a fourth plug sometimes in to the last position that'll hold a plug. Sometimes to do that, you need to screw or unscrew the disc just a little bit, get things situated, and we put that last plug in like this. So then at this point, we've got four different plugs, one in, on each of these, and that will hold these center sections from moving. Uh, and you've got your sectional bobbin and you can just apply or spin singles onto this with an electric eel wheel six, just like you normally would. Thanks for watching.